to us. And to have us lose that streak since 1857, I just couldn't bear it. A tradition older than the city itself has survived world wars, heat waves, and historic floods, but for the first time in 163 years was canceled over a virus. To end that streak over what's currently going on. Didn't sit well with Chris Keller. I thought, well, instead of ending that wonderful streak we have, why not adapt our parade? So he and a few other business owners got to work to set up a quick one minute parade through downtown with a few cars and the local color guard. There'll be no stops, no candy, and no one on foot. To do a rolling style parade. The parade will then move into the neighborhood so families can watch from the safety of their own front yard. Unlike most years, they're not encouraging people from out of town to come and see it. It's a parade for the locals to raise their spirits when they need it the most. Parade organizers really don't know what to expect for a turnout this year. They say when the city announced that they were canceling the parade, a lot of locals made plans to go out of town for the first time in years, but they are at least expecting some people will come out of their homes and watch the parade as it comes passing by. In Delano, Gordon Severson, Carol Evan News. Interesting. Thank you, Gordon. And the Delano Parade is commonly known as Minnesota's oldest and largest parade. The committee says it was a difficult decision to cancel it, but they are committed to bringing it back next year. Free house in Minneapolis.